When I was originally doing the Church of Programming series, this was just two videos long. And while I do feel that it covered everything I wanted to fairly well, there was one particular point that, while it did cover it, I still thought it could be covered a bit better than I had. And I thought of a better way to approach that. Now, specifically, I am talking about the attempts to proselytize that certain programmers do, where they'll look typically online for anything they think that they can argue why the person is using the wrong programming language and should adopt it, and the one that they support. And there's almost never any evidence cited. In fact, there's almost never any uh, attempt to understand what the actual problem is. Usually it's just somebody complaining about something and instead of like going into details, it's just, hey, use this, it'll fix your problem. Comes off as kind of snake oil salesman. Eh. But the thing I thought of, you can essentially view bugs as a type of miscommunication, right? What you said to the computer is not exactly what you meant. Now, this isn't going to be a perfect analogy because, of course, computers can't misinterpret things. They just blindly read everything. But I think you'll still understand where I'm where I'm coming from with this. Normal miscommunications between two people. They suck, but they happen and are part of being a, just a social person. You deal with them. Sometimes you need to bitch to your friends about the miscommunication that happened. It'd be a bit weird if your friends started arguing that, well, if you spoke, I don't know, Lebanese instead of English, you wouldn't be having that problem. What? What? And it's not like this is a hugely flawed analogy either, because different spoken languages are also able to express things uh, better or worse than others. Um, one example I know for that is it's much... You, you can describe position much more accurately in Russian than you can in English. But that doesn't mean that English is unclear or unsuited for it either. You can get very detailed with position in English. Uh, above a certain threshold, you, you do need to start borrowing from another language, and that's why medical terminology is typically uh, Latin-based. But the idea that uh, just speaking a different language would prevent a miscommunication with your significant other or a friend or whatever is absolutely absurd. And the same principle applies to programming. If you're having problems like miscommunications, bugs, really, uh, the problem isn't what programming language you're using. The problem is you wrote bad code. We all do it. But God, I have to squash numerous bugs. But it the problem isn't the programming language you're using. Now, obviously for a project you do want to pick the programming language that is able to best express what you were trying to do. Because you're going to have an easier time. It is going to result in less bugs, but it is also going to make your life easier otherwise. Because you're just going to be able to say it more clearly. This is going to lead to better maintainable code. And yes, a uh, certain, like my primary language, Ida, 
there are certain domains where Ada does shine, where Ada is clearly able to express things better, and you will get less bugs. But sometimes it's not. The problem, basically, isn't that you need to switch to another uh, programming language. Just like miscommunications in social settings aren't the result of you needing to switch to another spoken language. Rather, it's just learning to communicate a little more clearly. I think this will be it for the series. Have a good one.